Good morning. You are joining us at a bit of a mucky Friday in Wiltshire. Um, but not to worry, we are going out just as a two today. So unfortunately Luke's at work, Tracy's got to do a bit of work. However, Tracy is currently having her nails done. So it's just Daisy and I today and we are going somewhere that we have never been to before. We are off to Wookie Hole. So we've had a look on the sat nav, should take us about an hour to get there. I've never been there, so other than thinking it's a cave, um, don't know a lot about it. So we will see you at Wookie Hole. <laughs> so we're here. We are. Um, yeah, it's a really, really lovely drive. Lots of pretty villages to go through. Uh, the road that leads into it is really, really narrow. If there was a car or a bus coming the other way, you'd have to... It's horrible. <laughs> you would need some serious reversing skills. However, um, it has been raining all the way here. It's a little bit drizzly, but yeah, we're going to head in and uh, see what Wookie Hole has to offer. So it looks like there's a Wookie Hole hotel, which is cool. What do you think? It's pretty cool. You're just heading in. Need a little comfort break. So I'm going in the wizards. Daisy, obviously. Diagonally. <laughs> what did he say? Diagonally. So that's the Wookie Hole Hotel there. It's nestled in some beautiful countryside. So here we go. I've literally got no idea. Me neither. So I included with our ticket over 20 attractions. That's all right. What famous caves. So we're all in, we've got our tickets. Let's have a look at your sticker days. Sticker. I tried something new. <laughs> so apparently we've got to head up this hill and then we've got a cave tour. It's just gone one o'clock and the next cave tour is at 1.30. So yeah, we're going to head on, see what the caves are all about. I'm glad we didn't bring the uh, Sharabang. There we go. Your tour starts this way. So far. It does feel very school trippy. It does. Also, I think it's the weather. Yeah. It's a school day. Yeah, and it's very quiet. Which is nice. Yes. Daisy's just seen something really cool. <laughs> Oh, a bit of mini golf. That looks really nice. And Daisy loves a bit of a gift shop. We're heading in. Slenderman. <laughs> so we should have really done our homework because there's this huge sort of witch's theme around here. I'm sure it'll all unfold as we get in. We've got some sort of crazy mirror. Ooh. I'm upside down. Little legs. This is the Penny Arcade bit. Oh. We got any pennies? What have you just found? I don't, I don't know what 1D is. I can only assume One Direction. RIP. You were big into One Direction. I loved One Direction for like four months. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool actually. It's an old timey game. Advice don't wear tight trousers. Some of these old school machines are so cool. There we go, that's not creepy. Oh, that's like slappy. Oh. <laughs> I really, I really want to have a go. You want to be big? I want to be big. You want to be big? I want to be big. I want to be big. Nice, move along. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, that one suits you best. So Daisy's just put a pound in, so we're getting a boatload of two peas for the machines. Because Daisy wants to find out what her fortune is. Fortune, twenty p. Oh, really? <laughs> so the change machine is just giving us out old pennies. I don't know what these would be. Just one penny from. 1967. Let's stick them in the machines. 
Load him up. How many? Just stick one in. That's horrible. Side move. Oh, we've got a card. Yeah. What's your card say? Postman will shortly deliver you two letters. One will be from a relative who you have not heard from for many years. The other will lead to a great change in your financial position. Problems which have been troubling you will be solved in a most simple manner and time for you to go on a well-deserved holiday abroad. That is very... Sp oh, we are going on a, holiday, are abroad. Going on a holiday abroad. You are likely to have five, ch five children. Can't do that, mate. Five children. And they will bring great happiness to you. I've got two children and they didn't bring great happiness. Yeah. Let's have a look at the card. It's like proper like... That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Drop one. Nah. Blimey. This kind of looks very sort of Frankenstein y. It does. So I think this pen is actually writing on a card. Oh, they love a card. It's not actually writing on a card. It might have been. What does it say? You have a vivacious personality. You're so vivacious. <laughs> Fond of outdoor activities and living life to the full. Not half. <laughs> Sadly, others feel threatened by someone as lively as yourself. Modern science is the solution. The television receiving apparatus. Continue to spend as many hours as possible gazing at the goggle box, and you'll soon become as boring as the next person. Quite brainless. Indeed, the perfect neighbour. Nice. Second so piece. <laughs> Cool, so we've had a cheeky go on a couple of the machines in the Penny Arcade, then we're going to get in the queue for the cave tour. Too right we are. So we've had a look in the Penny Arcade, which was great, and the other cool thing is we didn't really know what to expect, so we're sort of winging it a little bit. Thought so far. It's really, it's, it's, I don't know, it's different, to, completely different to what I was expecting, you're right there. Yeah. But yeah, it's completely different to what I was expecting. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna, it is very different, so we're going to head up and get in the queue for the cave tour, which I think really is what this place is all about. So we're currently on the walk up to the cave, obviously it's in some sort of rock face because it's a cave. <laughs> but yeah, and over here, got some dinosaurs. I think I've used up pretty much every single dinosaur joke on previous videos. <laughs> I stood here trying to think of something. <sighs> Wild Wookie, are you brave enough to scale the exhilarating heights of Wookie Hole Caves? I can tell you that now. I'm not. I'm, I would, I I would not, not do that. The, uh, leave us alone. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. I I'll have to ask Chris the Caver, who's in charge of the caves, how many bats there are in particular. Chris the Caver? Yeah, that's, his, that's his name. Just been told, up to a thousand bats in here. Brilliant. <laughs> so we're heading on in. It's really cold. Bat number one. Now, according to this legend, um, the lady who lived in these caves um, was feared by the people who lived in the locality. And naturally, whenever anything went wrong, uh, such as crops failing, uh, that would be her fault. And if children were to get sick or worse yet die, that would be her fault too. So we've just been hearing that this, these caves are haunted. Where are you, Daisy? Ooh. So this is like an image of the witch that lived here. And they found her in here. Oh, there's a broomstick as well. And they found her in here with a crystal ball. Carved out all of these caves to begin with. And uh, like I say, the water level these days is a lot lower than what it has been in the past. At some point, the river would have been so high that it would have filled this entire area which we're in now. And that's how I managed to make it up there about half a million years ago. Now, so the bracelets, the pottery, uh, teeth, all, all of those items have been pulled out of that pool. 
And much like we go around these days flipping coins into wishing wells, the Celts would do similar things. They'd throw their jewellery into the water. So we've just been learning all about the witch, all about the monk. Yeah, and they have cave divers that do their cave diving, practicing in here. And apparently the, well, the guys that helped the children that were trapped in the caves last year came from here, which is amazing. Now we're heading into some cramped areas, Dezo. <laughs> this is amazing. Cramped. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I've got my backpack on. It's very low down. <gasps> so, as you can see uh, in this chamber, the roof is uh, particularly high. In fact, it's a 70 foot high here, that's the same height as the nave in the Bowes Cathedral just down the road. And then we have the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> it is absolutely huge. Right, Dezo. They said there's no way that a chamber that's this wide and shallow should be able to take that kind of weight. They say it should have fallen down a very great time. <laughs> so there's two ways out of that for the air. Uh, they said uh, that if we were building this shape, if we were building something that was this wide and shallow, with that much weight above, we'd have to put a massive hole in the middle. So it turns out they filmed what they filmed down here? Episode Very cool. And apparently a whole episode of Dear One Yeah. <laughs> Daisy's really excited because this is where they keep the so, yeah, cheese. So yeah, this is where we uh, show the cheese. Uh, it's a process we've been doing at Wookie Hole for only about 20 years. Over at Shedder they have been doing it for a lot longer. Uh, but the reason we keep cheese in the cave is because um, whatever the weather is outside, it is a constant 11 degrees down here. So it's the perfect natural fridge for them and it's very in keeping with that whole traditional uh, cheese making maturing process. So this is where they keep all the cheese. And apparently, our guy George, who is brilliant, said someone stole some cheese um, a little while ago, which is quite impressive because each wheel of cheese weighs 27 kilos. Now, if I was gonna steal some cheese down here, I would definitely do it carefully. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can get that low. Oh. This sounds like bats. Freaking bats. Oh, this is incredible. They also do that cheese that they um, use to get bears off of mountains. Come on, bear. <laughs> this tour's really good. Uh. <laughs> if you don't like small spaces. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, fine. I like the disco Christmas lights as well, which are leading us around. I really hope like the enormity of this is being portrayed through this because it's huge down here. Daisy's a big fan of the smell down here. It smells like new palaces. Yeah, it's definitely got a, like a real sort of Goonies feel to it down here. It's 
brilliant. Literally every new sort of section of the cave you get to is just like, oh my god. If you're into geology, all oh, rocks. This is definitely going to be in your must-do list. This is the like. This is where we've been in. Very cool. Yeah, I wasn't going to lie. I wasn't expecting much, but expectations have been exceeded. Definitely. It's really, really interesting and really cool. Yeah, and our guide's called George, and he was awesome. Yeah. So I think we're heading into a mill now. Let's find out. Let's do it. You got these sort of magical gardens with fairies and imps and unicorns. Fairy cool bridge. Loads of dinosaurs. Some of them are moving. A duck's definitely taking his chances. So yeah, after you've done the cave bit. There's this whole museum. Here's a bit all about the Witch of Wookie. And our guide was telling us a story all about the witch and the monk and the history. But if you want to find out, definitely Google it because it was really interesting. Yeah, it was really interesting. It was all the legend of yeah, she had like this skeleton was found with like a crystal ball and yeah, and then it was like he said, you can see where this is going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really interesting. Really cool. And a play area for the kids. So if they are, you know, not as interested in the caves as some of the older ones. Uh oh, you're too old, Daisy. Harsh. So we're gonna get on some of the old timey games now. Daisy's already winning. Yeah, yes. Get in. Yes. So we're all pretty much done. I think we're going to try and find some cheese. But one thing that I'm so happy about, because the guys here have obviously got an amazing sense of humour, is... What is it? Wookie hole. Wookie hole. Top job, guys. Someone's happy. What you got there? Cheese. Got cheese grommet. Cheese grommet. We just had a sample. It is delicious. It's really good. Yeah. And that's a mini golf course down there, which looks really cool. Nice bit of theming. I think we're going to head back to the car. We got a cheese. Yes. We're back in the car. Wookie hole. I was really good, really surprised. Wookie yeah. Hole is amazing. Um, as I said at the beginning, we had no idea what to expect. Um, we just thought we'd take it on a flyer and come and have a look. That cave tour is amazing. It's a ten out of ten. I've never, I've definitely never done it before. Our guide was amazing. The whole story behind it, with like the witches and the ladies' remains that were found in there, and the monk going down there, and there's like a statue of where uh, a woman was turned into stone. It is stunning down there. Yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah, a must do. Absolutely a must do. All of the stuff around it. Is a bit weird the gift shop's a bit weird you've got like a mirror maze that's a bit weird and it just doesn't feel like the whole thing flows perhaps you know kind of how it should do however if you are in the area you've got to do it it is brilliant yeah yeah top day out and we've got our cheese so we're looking forward to, to some cheese sarnies when we get home so that's it for today cheers, cheers. is